right? And yes, Amrita, absolutely. you look Amrita, you look as beautiful as ever. I mean, as I I think I did tell you when I was judging that I love your smile, right? Oh, thank you so much. No, I have to say the same to you though. <laughs> Yeah, likewise, right? Absolutely. <laughs> thank, you, gorgeous, so gorgeous. Thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Amrita. So tell us about uh, your experience. How was it yesterday? It was amazing. I mean, I have to say I was definitely a little nervous. It was my first uh, pageant overall. And especially, you know, I was like, oh man, Shweta Mishra is going to be there. She has all these titles and all these <laughs> other people, all these judges. I was like, oh my gosh, like, you know, hopefully I... I do well, but I think that, you know, once you got to hear the responses from other girls and got to see, you know, just that everyone is just here just to be their best selves and, and to just kind of empower each other and just to, and to, just to build women and create that platform. So you kind of see that, you know, this is all just here for, here to, for fun, to build each other up. So, you know, that pressure kind of goes off after that because you, you're just here for a good time to really just have a positive environment. And I think that kind of uh, definitely makes it a lot better, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, you know, I remember the the whole uh, judging process. It was so difficult. Each one of you, I mean, you bring, you have so much talent. You, you all bring so much, you know, to the, uh, uh, to the, to the community, and you have so much to offer. And I'm like, oh my God, everyone is so gorgeous, and it's just, you know, you have to choose top five out of all these girls. I, I mean, honestly. It was it was so hard. It was really yeah, hard. I mean, but everyone, but everyone yesterday was so talented, so beautiful, gave such great great answers. I mean, even I was like, wow, I'm just so amazed to see so much of talent being showcased in our community here. Yes, I I, I can't agree more. I mean, um, it was a virtual pageant, and I was like, how is it gonna be? Uh, you know, how can we judge based on uh, what we see there? I mean, are they reading a script or uh, I mean. But no, I mean, everything was so impromptu. And uh, yes, I, I believe like you guys really worked hard. People have this misconception about like, oh, it's a virtual uh, beauty badge and probably, you know, you really don't have to do a whole lot of preparation. Right. So do you want to add light there? Like, you know, what kind of preparation you uh, went through and how did you prepare yourself for this pageant? Sure. So I think it actually started earlier this week when um, the submission time was there. And I think that, it, I mean, I think there's like a huge misconception about pageantry in general being like, oh, this is just for people who just want to look pretty and, you know, but that's not at all what it is. I think beauty is just maybe the icing on the cake, if that. I think the rest of, the, of prepping for a pageant and being part of pageant is 100% who you are as a person. And I think that you really get to know yourself on a very different level. And especially for um, a virtual pageant, because you know, uh, you know, you know, filming yourself walking and you don't realize how many mistakes you make just when walking and being on <laughs> camera and having to even, you know, um, introduce yourself and even how long that, how many shots that takes by itself. I mean, I, I mean, as an actor, I've definitely experienced it like on screen, but even here, just a one minute video of just sharing yourself, you're like, oh my gosh, so many takes that, is this right? Is that right? Is lighting right? And, and I, I think it's really getting to know yourself as well. Like, what do you say? How can you gather your thoughts to be able to deliver your about me in in one minute and also prepping for all the questions like you know can you really a a have those thoughts in your head as to all the questions that, that the judges will ask you know getting your thoughts ready getting to know yourself I think is like a huge part of it and 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 you know trust me I I believe that um, um you know it was it was very challenging because um, I have done uh pageants before and uh, we go through this prep cycle and where we get to uh, you know meet our fellow contestants and uh, that puts us at ease that you know you know these people right and there is uh, you know that that fear factor is kind of gone right you yeah. you are at ease and with these kind of patterns where you really don't uh, you know uh, you really can't judge like you know what the reaction of the person will be and how the other person is how the fellow contestant is and right. it's hard i mean I, i'm pretty sure i mean you guys went through all that nerve-wracking preparation where you were like oh my god i don't even know you know what my fellow contestant is doing and but you i mean you were amazing yesterday you you were so confident mm -hmm. the walk and the talk everything was like so perfect i mean it's i i mean honestly i didn't feel that it's a virtual pad and i felt like you know i'm just sitting uh, in some 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 big uh, you know the convention center where this pageant is going on and it, it was so amazing and kudos to Avni I mean she really did, uh, did. amazing job yeah and 
But I think even like ha like having judges like like you guys who are so warm and welcoming, I think also made us feel so much at ease because just to see that, you know, it's not a judge who's very stern and it's really like judging you, <laughs> but someone who's just genuinely just very happy and interacting and you know, looking so pretty, looking just so happy and so joyful. I think that really made us feel like, okay, like, you know, we can be ourselves and really just opening up, us up to just relax and just, and just you know, really um, helped a lot, so. And, and the best part of this whole pageant was, I mean, uh, when when Avni mentioned this thing to me that you know we are doing it for uh, for a very good cause, where we, you know all these proceedings will go to uh, COVID nineteen, uh, uh, you know, impacted families and uh, you know their their loved ones. So I'm like, yeah, I mean, see, you can do charity in many ways, and you know, giving time to the community, giving. Your, your your time which which you feel that is very important right which is important for all of us and uh, you know giving that time and giving that attention to the community which really needs you at this time is is really good and and this this had i mean a very positive impact like you know it was like a, a ray of hope where you know everything has come to you know still and yeah. this is like a, a bubble of joy right i mean did you feel completely i think that you know i mean of course the cause that you know um all the funds were going to was definitely one part of it but i think that the fact that we're able to have this kind of a highlight among the south asian community here you know in this country you know during these times and we're able really able to highlight each other's strengths, highlight women who are really confident. I mean, each and every woman on the pageant had so much to offer, like, as you said, so much to bring, so much talent, so much of credibility. They're able to highlight all this talent in our, like, in our South Asian community, which is absolutely amazing. So I think that, you know, I mean, of course, the funding was absolutely great just to be able to contribute towards the cause. But I think also yeah. you know, this, this impacted our lives as well, because we, we felt better. We felt that, hey, we're part of a larger community and seeing so much talent and definitely empowered us as well. No, and and you know this. Yes, it was a virtual pageant, but it's not less than any other pageant that Absolutely. you know we hold. But you know, in this current situation, uh, we can we can hold things virtually, and uh, you know this this was. I mean, um, um, trust me. I mean, from all over, and it was not just at Virginia level or the DC level. It was like from from whole US and from yeah. some. We got some submissions from India as well. So it it was oh, okay. open to the world level. Yeah. So it was a very um very very tough competition and i i felt like oh my god where oh, oh, there are so many pretty and talented ladies out there and absolutely great. i mean and so so now you are a title holder so you have a big responsibility you are a local celebrity now <laughs> so tell us what what plans do you have what will you do with the title uh, you just started um, well, I think my main passion, like, like, as I mentioned before, is, is, um, is contributing back to our youth. Um, cause growing up, like me being Indian American, I think that growing up, we have a lot of, um, Indian Americans who don't always see people who look like them. Cause I know even myself growing up, like, I don't think we had anybody who was Indian or South Asian out there doing anything. So, so I feel like just us you know, even stepping out to even earn a title is really just to show other people that are South Asian growing up here, especially for Indian Americans, that you can yeah. absolutely do these things. Like you don't have to be a certain race or color. You can be any color, any size. You can do anything you want for a profession and you can still be your best self. You can still go out there and, and you can still do, do these things. So I definitely want to be an inspiration to other youth, especially Indian Americans that, and we can absolutely embrace our culture. You know, I mean, I love that, you know, um, especially, um, yesterday it was so advocated that hey you, you can also wear indian you, and that mm -hmm. whole aspect of, of culture was definitely embraced and mm -hmm. i think that that's a huge part of you know um a lot of us being indian american is that we have to be able to embrace our culture and embrace ourselves in, like in so many ways so i think that i, I definitely would want to be able to impact more people and, and inspire more youth to do exactly that and and you know uh, the best part is we are in a country where you know we can we can really sky is the limit if you have talent you know in this country people are really very open to to embrace other other you know culture as well so they they see every culture as a, in a very high respect so i mean we are, we are truly blessed to be uh, to 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 be in this country where you know Sky is the limit if you are talented, right? I mean, you can really make best out of everything that you inspire to do. And uh, there are, you know, enormous uh, platforms. It's just, you know, a lot of people, uh, they, 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 they think that, you know, beauty pageants are just all about body and good looking and all. Uh, and, you know, that misconception, I think youth like you, I mean, you, you guys have to really take step forward to, to uh, you know, 
eliminate that uh, that uh, thinking or or i would say educate people more about like you know beauty pageants are not just about you know looking good or looking beautiful or having like perfect uh, size zero or I don't yeah. know whatever perfect <laughs> you know figure for yeah, yeah. person is but you know I mean it, it's all about like you know uh, what you really have to offer to the community what you can give back right. to the community right and how mm-hmm. um, and how can you make difference in other people's life and 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 that's what I learned in the pageant and I mean when I uh, when I took a part in the pageant first I mean uh, back in 2015 I was also like you know uh uh, I don't know how my family will think about it and, uh, you know, am I doing the right thing or right. But no, yeah. I mean, definitely it, I have gained a lot of respect and I was able to do a lot of things that um, the, the one thing that I got out of the title was, uh, you know, I was able to voice my opinion and it was heard. Right. And I'm, I'm hoping that uh, you are also thinking along the same line right absolutely, absolutely yeah yeah like my like I like I said my biggest thing is is to be able to really voice my opinion and to be able to just make an impact and 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 I think my biggest thing is that you know we all have to truly just embrace ourselves on so many levels because I think that's that's a huge lag and I think that that's also why there's a stigma about a, a beauty pageant is that it always it's all about your out- outward look but I think that to even look nice on the outside you have to be internally beautiful yeah. you have to think you're beautiful being joyful being happy being confident I think all of those are really like beautiful traits that we have on the inside and we really just embrace ourselves fully we look good on the outside as well yeah and, and I agree so let's put everything aside and come back to you Amrita so tell us about your hobby what you like to do in your free time and I I know you are a very talented Bharatnatyam dancer also. So yeah, share share your you know experiences in those areas as well. Sure. So I I really enjoy uh, like fitness and, and and working out, and I also really enjoy um, Bharatnatyam dancing. I think it's one of my deepest passions is dancing, especially Bharatnatyam. And I've been dancing since I since I was very young. Actually, my mom's also a dancer, so I think I was, a, I was definitely influenced by her. Um, and then, you know, uh, going through high school, um, I think here, especially like in America, being Indian American and also doing Bharatanatyam, at least when I was younger, it was actually quite um, a struggle in a way because your friends are not doing Bharatanatyam and your friends are not doing anything classical. Everyone wants to do hip hop. So you I actually <laughs> I wanted to major in dance. And then um, I didn't see any of my friends doing classical. And I was like, oh, maybe like I won't be valued for doing Indian classical so yeah. so let me just maybe not do it or stop and everything and, I, and I, I just feel like more people need to be encouraged hey like if you're good at something you should do it and as you said in this country you know there is room for all talents and passions so and and I yeah and I can resonate with that I mean I'm also a Kathak dancer and uh, my daughter she she's also a Kathak dancer she does Bhangra too mm-hmm. and and um, and uh, you know, and not that back then, but you know, today also they have this peer pressure where you know kids are doing different kind of Western style and hip hop, jazz, and all those kind of style, and keeping our culture alive. Like you know, with, and and trust me, I mean, and and as a as a classical dancer, you probably know by now that you know how much respect uh, you know these uh, classical art forms we have in not just our community, but but everywhere in uh, you know. Uh, you know, every everyone thinks it's a beautiful uh, art form, and a- everyone is, uh, you know, um, ready to embrace that. And that, that they think that classical Indian classical dances are very beautiful. And 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 I'm, and I know that you have done Arangetam, so it, it's a lot of hard work right there, right? So I can tell that you are a very hardworking person, right? So, so you know, actually, so, uh, I actually did not do it an, an, an Arangetam yet. Um, and that's because, so like I was learning and then actually um, right around high school, I actually stopped dancing. Um, and then I think oh. I, I, I had a journey and I had to realize that, that I really did enjoy classical and that I shouldn't be stopping because someone else didn't validate it. Or yeah, my friends yeah. didn't validate it. So I actually, I came back to classical right after I finished uh, university and then started again. So, yeah, and, and that I have seen that, you know, um, you know, kids, uh, they go through that phase where uh, they feel that, you know, what they are doing. Because, you know, again, these art forms, uh, they, they have a uh, lot of hard work. And, and I, I would say it's not fun to begin with, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, like Bollywood dancing and all, but, 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 you know, 
uh, one thing I have seen that you can tell a difference between a trained dancer and an untrained dancer, Absolutely. right? A person who's just doing it for fun. And yes, being persistent, being, uh, you know, being able to carry this forward. And, and, and as you said, that you were able to come back to it and you are still pursuing it. I mean, that shows your hard work and dedication right there. And, 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 and that's why I felt, you know, when, when I was judging, you know, we were trying to see, uh, we were trying to look for that potential in the candidate as well. That, and uh, again, I mean, I'm not saying that, um, you know, uh, other girls did not had. I mean, they, everyone had a lot of potential. That's why they were there. Uh, but you know, few girls they stood out because uh, we could see uh, the confidence uh, in their voice. We could feel, as you said, it's about inner beauty, right? I mean, what they are uh, saying, they really mean it. Yeah. So it really touched our hearts. And uh, so, um, Amrita, tell me, what uh, what are your five-year plan not a beauty pattern question so i'm not judging you here <laughs> one friendly conversation right here Absolutely. So, yeah tell, tell, tell us about your five-year plans from now sure so i mean i have definitely many plans um and many things um i guess lined up so one thing is because uh i did not finish my anagatrum i do want to do um something um that is a, a parallel thing to um an anagatrum because i i've always had in my mind that i i just want to be able to push myself to be able to complete that three hour long performance and just really show that even if you come back, you can still do it, that you don't have to just kind of give up and you should not give up because you, you should go all the way and really just, you know, continue doing what you love. So that's one thing on my list. Um, I am really excited about everything that's happening with Mary Sanskriti. Um, I definitely hope to be able to um, empower a lot more uh, young Americans and young Indian Americans to be able to do a lot more things with what we do at Mary Sanskriti. Um, and we're also in, in works of starting up a nonprofit in India um, to be mm -hmm. able to, um, that's focused on women and children. Um, so helping the youth and also um, em em empowering women to, to, you know, to do more and be more. And I think that, you know, one message that I always want to give um, women is that, you know, I think everyone has this mentality of being like a powerful woman. You have to leave your family and you have to just be this like ruthless woman. And I'm like, I don't think that's what it is at all. I mean, I think you can be, you can even be a housewife like a, that, that people so-called don't think, you know, like, oh, you don't work, you're a housewife. You can be a housewife and still be an amazing person, an amazing lady and just truly live your life to your best self. So, so I think that I really want to spread that message to a lot of women and people out there that you just being your best self you know just don't shy away from, from who you're meant to be so I'm no no like, like in those lines I guess yeah, so <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your, uh, your uh, Mary Sanskriti organization what what does it do and uh, you know uh, what are your current projects and uh, is there any way you know uh, people uh, if they want to join your organization how what can they do to join your organization Sure. So basically, our, our mission is to empower people to embrace their culture in the Western world. So essentially, mm -hmm. what, what you want to do is, is kind of showcase that, you know, you're embracing your culture can be a cool thing. Culture doesn't have to be this old, ancient, you know, like old way of thinking. Culture mm -hmm. is something that, you know, you can totally embrace and make it a cool thing. And it can definitely be something that you can embrace as you go along, you know, being Indian American. It, and you don't have to, to separate your life being Indian and Western. You can be both at the same time and have that beautiful sweet spot. Um, so we have different classes, um, like we have a youth leadership program where um, for the teenage group, we have discussions. We talk about your identity. We talk about so many different kinds of important things that, that happen at, at that age and how do you handle them? And how do you handle life? And we also help them and kind of give them a platform to be able to express themselves, you know, being, uh, you know, being in a creative field. I definitely want to be able to empower others who are also, who have that creative thing in them, but maybe don't have a platform to actually express it. So we, so we, um, we do projects like that, um, we're right now working on helping them to create a few short films and videos to kind of, you know, showcase what, what they think needs to be said in society to, to kind of give, give them a voice. Um, we also do that for kids as well from ages eight to 12. Um, so that, that's our main thing. And of course, in addition, we also do dance and we also um, like Bollywood dance. And then we also have, have fitness classes as well for, for adults and everything. So I think that um, that's kind of like what, we, what we're doing right now. But we do plan to, um, you know, kind of expand and just see what else that we can do to help the community overall. So and, and now since you are a pageant winner also, and you know, uh, first runner up is, uh, runner -up is as good as a, a winner, honestly. 
you know so um, now now since you have you are a title holder um you know you will be able to um, empower people or you know make them understand that you know these balances are really not uh, you know what you think uh, is you know all about like how do you look and uh, i mean you if uh, and you can groom those you know young kids and uh, you know those talented kids and you know what i feel and 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 maybe uh, you will be able to resonate uh, with this uh, what i feel that you know these kind of platform also gives us opportunity to really uh, rebuild or reboost our confidence right you know because you have faced that nerve wracking situation and you're like yeah. hey i'm ready for everything right <laughs> i i completely agree. i think i would honestly recommend every single girl out there to do a pageant at least once because yes. i think that the experience the growth you face the confidence you have i mean just on all levels i would say that you know definitely a pageant is something everyone should definitely do because i think it's so beneficial to us for our growth as well right so in this covid-19 situation what is one thing that you miss badly <laughs> I would say going to events um and just having this face to face interaction. <laughs> <laughs> Because honestly I I've been able to figure out how to do a lot of things virtually luckily. Um but I do think that that just like like hey I'm I'm going to come to your house and we can just hang out. I think that like basic the like, human touch is just gone. So so I definitely miss that. <laughs> and I cannot wait until we're out to go and just like have a barbecue with, with friends <laughs> <laughs> you can come over with the mask on <laughs> right we can have a barbecue right we can have a, a barbecue by maintaining the social distance <laughs> exactly exactly right. i mean the one thing that i dearly miss i mean i have a bucket list for every year i want to go to you know uh, i i love my husband and i we both love to travel so i i would like to see every every possible country in the world and That's amazing. see i lost a year i i lost a year of my life i could go anywhere but i really really hope the situation gets because you know there are so many impacted families right and i my heart really um, it is a it's a very heart wrenching uh, uh, situation right now i feel so bad for them i really feel sorry for them and i really pray that this thing gets over soon i agree and so many people got i mean we are lucky and i thank god every day that you know everyone is safe and sound in our friends and family circle Oh. and but but not everyone is as fortunate as we are yeah. and uh, you know with this badge and one good thing that happened at least we were able to become a little or small part of this charity yeah by you know uh, participating in this event in any way or form we could have so oh, totally. and yeah i mean and uh, so um, any any positive message you would like to send to you know our community who is who is in this tough tough, uh, tough situation right now not the community but the whole world as such definitely i mean i would say just you i mean use this time to just you know um i guess grow yourself in a way just you know because i feel like we have so much time right now like i think that's that's yeah. one thing that that we have right now is time on time so i think that we can definitely use this time productively to to be able to do things to better ourselves if it's a skill set or or whatever that it is and maybe some people just need time to just cope with themselves maybe just heal yourself you know just think about how you can just you know um if you have certain things that you want to get over or whatever that it is and, you know really just get in touch with your feelings mental health I'm all about it or you know if you're at a point where you feel like hey I can grow I want to learn all these new skill sets we should absolutely do it because i think that this is this is that time to be able to do that so we can come out even more greater and you know stronger as well stronger stronger yeah. as well i know i completely hear you i mean recently i started doing gardening although i'm not seeing much positive result i don't have green thumb <laughs> so i'm 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 trying to i'm trying to learn those skills and you know uh, uh, what what i feel what i feel is i mean this is this is uh, this is i know this is a very tough situation but this is also time where we can really bond with our family because we all are yeah. together Absolutely. you know we all are together so use it wisely use Absolutely. it wisely i mean you can you can whine and cry and say hey i cannot go hey just remember the time when we were constantly you were constantly out right and then you were like i have no time to relax yeah so yeah. you know as a human we really need to really need to sit back and think that Completely. should we just stop whining and make best out of every situation right definitely, definitely. instead of instead of blaming i know we are in a very tough situation i know we cannot go out i know there are 
so many things right yeah. there's so many things but but in current situation whatever we can do uh, you know i think we should make best out of it and i see amrita you have a question from the audience um and uh, basically if any uh, i mean i'm not seeing the question but if audience have any question for amrita please go ahead and ask she's a beautiful person inside out as you all can tell right and uh, i am so uh, happy see amrita one thing i i, I must say yes we cannot go out but see we just, i just made a new friend yeah, i just absolutely. made a new friend. <laughs> now amrita and i we first thing we have to do is we have to think up right after the covid situation is over think up a barbecue right yes <laughs> <laughs> or, or we can or, or we can even do our bharat natyam and got her we can do dance together, collaboration right? yeah exactly. i am totally down for that <laughs> <laughs> so um, our viewers if you have any questions for amrita please please go ahead and ask she would be happy to respond as you can tell i can i can go and ask i mean i love to talk so i can <laughs> no 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 and and, and with this thing with this thing i mean i got uh, i'm i'm kind of venting out like i want to talk i want to talk right? no, go for it <laughs> no but i i totally agree with what you were saying about gardening and just doing things that make us happy like i think that we don't like as you said think about that enough as you know what are we grateful for and like what things make us happy like even something as cooking or baking that we may not have yep. have had time before and we're able to do that now it's like those little things that that just make you happy make life worth it you know just really those yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and and you know um, um we used to so uh every the week schedule was like you know because i'm i'm working too and i'm a software engineer i'm working too so with week week schedule i mean i don't think that it has impacted my week schedule that much on contrary i mean i would say um uh, it has impacted in a positive way now every 5:30 to 6:30 i have my yoga and zumba which i am doing with nice. my friends you know i mean uh, i organize it uh, online and then we are like on zoom we are meeting up and doing and uh, let's see i have lost 5 pounds so i'm happy look at you so i'm happy no no complaints there all the although i'm eating i'm eating i mean because you know i'm yeah. tired i'm sick and uh, one thing i would also like to uh, you know tell our viewers is that it do help uh, small businesses i mean uh, yeah. take uh, if you, if you if you are getting food from outside you know it is really not unsafe you know i i mean i do it every friday and saturday yeah i mean that that was a ritual when i was uh, you know going to work also so friday uh, friday evening and saturday i don't know so yeah. uh, that was the ritual and that we are still maintaining we are still uh, getting take outs and also please do help those small businesses mm-hmm. i mean they they really need your help at this and don't think that you know your home so and if you get take out and you know if you deliver get food delivered it's not safe no it is safe it is safe i mean honestly trust me i'm not lying i'm eating i am eating from an uh, bamboo garden is my favorite so i yeah, love garden food. Food. <laughs> i love their food you know yeah, i yeah. i love all food it's not that i get tired of like my own cooking i like i need a break i need a break yeah, <laughs> I, I, no I, i totally agree actually one thing that we've been doing is so um my fiance is actually in india and mm. um so uh, our family and his family we do a bollywood dance session every day for like a workout and then we do yoga wow so that's kind of in our way of bonding because i don't think we'd have done this if it were not for this situation so it's it's nice to be able to have that going on very nice very <laughs> nice so 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 you just uh, reveal one thing that you you are engaged yes. uh, you broke so many heart out there <laughs> so uh, yeah. okay so uh, you were, you just said that um, he's in india and you are here so how did, how, how does that work i mean uh is it an arranged uh, thing no, or no presently it's actually not um so we met uh 3 years ago he's from amdabad and uh, i was there for my cousin's wedding um in 2017 and uh he's actually a heritage manager so he he does work with uh indian heritage and culture um so he was um doing a heritage walk for us on, on some of the oldest places in amdabad and and all the oldest you know things like that so he was showing us around and then um we met there and then from there we kind of just kept in touch and then every time i would go to india after that to see family i'd also see him and we'd meet and like hang out and then last year um i went to amdavad just just to see him and my aunt and everybody and then um i ended up going to his house for dinner and then um after that after like one day his parents were like okay so who is she let's get this going we were like we're not even dating like this is just kind of like <laughs> 
<laughs> they're like, no, 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 you need to date this girl. Oh, well, yeah, you like, you guys girl you have you're like, okay, I guess, like, we'll think about it. And then after that, we kind of start talking. And then now it's, uh, it's been, I guess, one year officially of being in long distance. But I guess it's been three years of us being friends and kind of, you know, being in each other's lives. So, so yeah, so it's like a long distance. So, long so. Distance. <laughs> No, 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 that's great. I mean, uh, people still ask me to go, oh, you, uh, you, uh, see, mine was our age. Oh. So people are like, uh, yeah, yeah. So everyone asks, uh, how does that work? How does that work? I mean, you think even you're the person? And well, it does work, right? I've yeah, had yeah, yeah, yeah. for so many years. So uh, it does work. And uh, so you're just kind of, I mean, I would not say arranged. You guys definitely met. And, uh, but it is like a arranged situation, right? We feel like it's arranged because the way that our parents have like bonded so well, we're like, did we actually introduce them to each other or did they meet on their own? Like? <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's, that's uh, amazing. So, yeah, uh, so are you planning to move back to India or are you going to be here? And, so, um, so we'll be here and then um, he also has a business there. So I guess we'll be kind of going back and forth. Um, and and I, 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 like, I also love to travel. So, I mean, I definitely have yeah. traveling on my, on my bucket list. I love going to India and like exploring India. I think it's, it's such a beautiful country and that we yeah. and we underestimate India. I mean, there's so many places in India. that I can move there in heartbeat. I mean, I, I just miss India crazy. <laughs> and I had summer plan and see, I cannot go. Yeah, like no, definitely, that. definitely. Like I was like, I have no issues living there for like six months and then coming here when it's like, you know, too hot over there or vice versa. Because I was like, I love it there. It's so nice. I mean, I mean, I was born and brought up here, but I, I like love India. So <laughs> no, 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 that see that tells us um, about one other thing about your personality. You're a very patient person as well. So it's not that you are like getting antsy. Yeah, he's up there. I'm here. I don't know how it's going to work. I mean, you are giving it a time. You are, you are being patient. I mean, see, you have so many qualities and I can keep going on and on and on. Right. You know, more I talk to you, it makes me, you know, it, it really makes me or wants me to know you more. I really want you to know more about you. And then definitely we need to catch up, right? We definitely I mean, do. Like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and I think you also bring the best out of me because I feel so great talking to you. So, Oh, that, that and, and feeling is mutual. And, and you, you know, the way we are talking doesn't even feel like that, you know, I'm, I'm really hosting any show or I'm, I'm talking to some stranger. Right. It feels I'm, like I'm talking to my long, long friend. And I know it's like... A, <laughs> It's and just actually, like a reunion yeah. happening. Absolutely. And one thing that I, I've definitely heard is that, you know, dance friendships always always are like a different bond by itself. So so I think that yes. this bond yes. is like a different, you know, level of, uh, of bond. Art has no language. Art has no language, no boundaries, right? We are just in, in some other world. We are always in other world. I mean, I other day I was, um, so when I do Zumba, so I have um, one one uh, friend who joins from California and she's Chinese and I was asking her that, you know, when I do Zumba, I have my collection of Spanish and uh, Bollywood songs. And if you have any, any Chinese song that you would like me to, she's like, but uh, will you understand the language? I'm like, I, and I don't need to really, I mean, to dance, I just listen to the music and lyrics that's, that's all i don't really need to understand it it just makes me move yeah i mean the meaning might be different i'm still moving <laughs> that's all you need just a good beat and good movement and that's literally all exactly. you need <laughs> exactly exactly it, it's really so nice to you know i i, I mean I, i'm feeling very happy just talking to you Amrita. Exactly. i mean you know your smile see look at me i'm i, I I just couldn't, uh, you know, stop smiling. I'm, I have this big smile to my face, right? And then <laughs> you, you definitely have a beautiful smile. Definitely, Thank you definitely. So much. I really appreciate so, um, it. So, Amrita, are you planning to participate in a more pageants like this, or um, this was just, uh, you know, something you wanted to try and then you had done? I think that I I hadn't thought of pageantry before this, um, but I think now that I've done it, I definitely really enjoyed the process, and I would definitely want to do more as well so no I think and, that you're and, the best person to learn from so <laughs> no 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 you have all the qualities and definitely people like you should be uh you know uh, you should be you should be uh, uh participating in uh, platforms like this i mean we need girls like you you're so yeah. you 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 will become an inspiration to the younger generation and people yeah. will look up to you and i'm pretty sure there are many girls who want to be Amrita now, right? Oh, Amrita, I want to be like her. Oh, that's <laughs> and, thank you. That, that no, no. A lot. 
no no definitely i mean you have all the qualities you have uh, you have everything in you that that really makes you a a great candidate for uh, you know so never even think twice that you should should i should i know i mean i'm done no 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 you're not done you have just started the journey has just started right to so keep going to heart yes <laughs> see I, i am married i have still not stopped so <laughs> yes absolutely yes. So you are the, i have no excuse right <laughs> Right so and, and that's what I'm saying I mean uh, definitely you should you should uh, you know you should uh, participate in these kind of pageants and uh, you have all the qualities and you have so much to to offer to the community as well and we would really like to see you out there and uh, this pageant has opened up uh, you know the plat- uh, I would say the wider range of uh, community of people uh, you know so not just indian community everyone every um, person out there who is seeking for advice or help and and your organization is uh, one of the uh, one of the you know greatest organization i i know you have named it mary sanskriti but it seems like you guys talk about like how to handle peer pressure and everything yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm pretty sure like a lot of kids will be benefited out of this and uh, i'm you. definitely uh, looking forward to 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 you know to know more about your organization and maybe um, who knows that tomorrow i will be working with you for your organization so sure i'd love know, to collaborate yes. with you definitely <laughs> yes yes and um, so with this um, we uh, i would like to i would like to say thank you to all our viewers and thank you thank you so much amrita thank you for so uh, for coming to our show and uh, <laughs> yes yes pleasure was all ours and thank you viewers and keep thank watching people who tv yes definitely namaste namaste